piles of outlines, 5,000 cases read, pull up a truck and shove it all.
I, I'm sure that has nothing to do with your experience here. There's a perfect overlap between country music and law school. That's right. Interesting. Yeah. The one common denominator. That would exactly. be it because we were trying to see how it uh, worked out. It's beer. Yeah. yeah. We're all alcoholics. Yeah. It's alcoholics. <laughs> yeah. Beer and job. Um, I was really impressed with a lot of it. I, I don't know the kind of time that you put into it, but it seems to me that it would be a challenge to try to rhyme and and also not make it extremely trite, you know. Um, and I think some of you guys did just a fantastic job. Yeah. Really. Really. I was very impressed. We didn't know what to expect. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, not just from what we were getting, but what the actual endeavor on our end was going to be like. Right. To come up with a snippet. You yeah, know, as opposed a to and a way. song. And a song. <laughs> <laughs> Which we're going to pitch. <laughs> no, I'm not your permission. Like, can you check me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know you're inspired to, to begin writing a lot more no, country music. <laughs> yeah, I think it should be uh, litigious to actually mix the two. Uh, we thought that maybe we would uh, be in here um, getting depositions. <laughs> and this would be our evidence, yeah. right? Which one of these songs? Yeah. <laughs> well, Also, folks, um, there is Marvin Vinnie Santoro, truly sui generis, remarkable yeah. human being, incredibly gracious with their time and energy, and what an extraordinary way to spend 45 minutes. So, on behalf of all of us, we are deeply. Oh.